hi-ho folks, and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle, the Gnome Mage. Well, hi, Turwinkle. Greetings. Are you all set for today, sir? Affirmative. Well, great, because today we're going to do some more adventures. And we have found ourselves here in the Swamp of Sorrows. And so, without any further ado, let's just hop right in, shall we? And so, let's go on over here. We're going to go to the Trade Baron himself, Trade Baron Silver Snap, and, and see what he's got for us here. Time is money, friend. Maliciously delicious. Instead of magically... Okay. <laughs> All right, you know, I've got a problem you might be able to help me with here. See, in addition to the fine pursuits of arms dealing, I'm trying to liven up the entertainment here in Bog Paddle. Apparently there's a bunch of these Makarua things in the North Waters that don't take kindly to the wild beach parties we've been throwing. Joke's on them. I'm not going to be pushed around by gi giant lobsters. They're my next source of revenue. Bring me some of their tails and we'll turn a problem into profit. Okay, so we're going to collect six intact swamp, so swamp Shore tails from Swamp Shore Makura. All right, so we will Have a good one. do that. So let us get George, shall we? Or just mix up a batch of mana muffins or cupcakes, as it were. Mana cupcakes. All right, hello, George. And it looks like it's just right over here. So let's go take a look here and see what we have. Right down here. Okay. They must be underwater. Discovered the misty reed strands. They must be underwater. Yep, right there. There's a dead one, so there might be somebody might be somebody else out here questing as well. There's a fish. I don't like being in the water with fish that attack you. Can we can we get these guys? Oh, there's one, a live one over there. Yeah, there's definitely somebody here or was here. So let's get some air. Boy, we were way underwater. Okay. Some air here and then go back down our shield on. Wing. George, if he'll do the honors, freeze him up. Whoop. There we go. Bam and sorts. Yeah, see, and there's a guy right there. There's the Dirk Hooves. Dirk Hooves, space cadet of celestials. <laughs> okay. And no. There's another one there. I've got a Zorch if I can get over there to him. Zorch. Still recharging. That torch didn't hurt him. Shield. Bam, 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 and a bam as he tries to swim away. We got him. There's one tail. All right. Looks like we got a recipe or something. Let's take a look at that. Boy, we go way under the water there. Okay. Let's see what we got there. We got a bag full of stuff. We have to clear out our bag here. Our bag is just plump full. What, do we, what did we get there? It was like a note or something. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Back underwater. Here we go. Let's see where. This way indicates this way here. So we will look from up here. There we go. Oh, it's, is that one of those? Nope, that's a. That's one there. I was gonna say, is that one of those fish? And all right, George, freeze him up. Freeze him up, George. Can't see at this. Closer. You can't see at this angle here. Let's get up here a little bit. There we go. Ooh, we got two zorches. But we gotta get closer. Zorch and zorch. And ba bam Get him, George. Oh, there's a crab. There's a crab on me. That crab isn't ready yet. Bam. Get this crab. Get this crab, George. Go away, crab. Ba bam Stupid crab. Beady eye stock. Ew. Okay. Coming down, coming down. And hopefully he's got a tail. No tail. We did get a big mouth clam, though. 
Clam meat always sells in the auction house. Again, we need to desperately go to the auction house, clean out our bags, get our stuff straightened out here. We, we have not done well with that lately, so. All right, let's hop in the water here. Oh, those fish. Those fish are icky. I do not like those fish. They're gross, and they're kind of creepy. All right, George, freeze them up. Wow, there we go. Bam and Zorch. And ba bam. Got him. Okay, get some air. Air is always good. And then back down. Hotel. Okay, let's just get this guy, George. Bam. Bam, shield. Bam. Oh, we got a Zorch. She's dead. Zorch. Got him. There's a tail. So four more of those. I've got to get rid of this, this this ugly fish. Bam. Bam. I get something first. They're gross. They are just gross. They, oh, a silver hook. Okay. Those uh, uh, any water stuff always kind of grosses me out. I don't know what it is, but. Uh, Again, I think Jaws ruined me as a kid. Not knowing what's underneath you in the water is just, ugh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. Got him. Okay. Please be a tail. Please be a tail. A tail, tail, tail. No tail. Jeez. Oh, the crab. Go away, crab. Go away, crab. You bother me. You bother me, see? Shield. And uh, bam. Stupid crab. Okay. There's another guy over here. Let's get some air first. Deep breath, Tony. Oh. Okay, freeze him up, George. There we go. And Sorch. And. Oh, man. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, George. Okay. All right, we're halfway through the quest. All right, there's another one down here. Bam. Bam. A Zorch. Bam and Zorch. Got him. All right. Well, guys, what we're going to do here... Let's get out of the water here first. Come up here for a second. Okay. George, please. George. <laughs> you don't. George. Over there, George. Thank you. Okay, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to get the other three. This way you don't have to sit here and watch us swim around and, and do the same thing. If anything fantastic happens, we'll pop back. But uh, we will get the rest of these swamp tails. Swamp shore tails. So we'll be right back when we have those. Alrighty, folks. Well, we have our six shore tail things <laughs> ready ready to turn in to the trade baron so let's go ahead and do that and nothing really spectacular happened it was just a more of swimming around and killing a bunch more of those maracura so What's let's up? turn those in you got those tails don't be trying to push no hacked up ones on me no these are all intact sir you can see it now our own famous bog paddle lobster poppers made fresh from the sea oh it's like the stuff writes itself your help is very much appreciated my friend i'll start seeing if i can't cut you your people a favorable arrangement eh okay keep it real all right so he's got a couple more quests here so let's see what he's got mostly harmless there's another th favor you can do for me pal um you know uh i'm not all about just doing you favors sir okay well what do you got we had a whole shipment of landmines come in from Booty Bay just the other day, but someone stole the whole lot of them in the night. Whoever it was must be sloppy because they dropped them all over the swamp to the east. No goblin I know would be that careless. I need you to... Well, I, I beg to differ, sir, but okay. <laughs> I need you to go and gather those landmines up for me. I'm sure they're perfectly safe and disarmed, every single one. Yep, of course they are. All right, here we go. So we're going to collect eight disarmed... 
quote unquote disarmed landmines from the swamp or the sorrow muck to the east of Pog Bog Paddle. And you'll be able to choose one of these rewards. And we'll be able to choose none of them. Wonderful. But if you were doing this quest, you could receive the Bog Paddle leggings, the sloppy spalders, or the armed gauntlets. Again, we don't get any of that except something to sell and 75 silver. But we'll, be take, good. we'll take the quest nonetheless. Keep it real. And they're right over here, so come on, George. We got some landmines to get. I'm sure they're not all disarmed, uh, no matter what he says. So come on, George. Let's go get these landmines. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, there's one right there. Is it disarmed? Mostly harmless, right? Okay. There's one. <laughs> oh, there's another one over here. Keep a lookout for stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, see, there's a crocolisk right over there. So let's clear the path, eh, George? Let's come up here. Let's get this guy. Shield on. George, if you would do the honors, please. Whoop. There we go. Damn it, Sorch. There we go. All right. He was easy peasy. So. <laughs> I'm just get, kind of leaning back going, ah, it's going to explode. I know it is. Okay. So far, we have been lucky. Uh, so far, I haven't run into any that have exploded on us yet. There's another crocolisk. George. There we go. And Zorch. Let's put the shield back up. And ba bam. We got him. We got him. Ooh, more. Okay. Huh. Cheapers. Again, I just have a bad feeling they're going to explode on us. Look out for. Let's move back a little bit here. Look out for Crocolis here. <laughs> Again, I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> There's one over here. Oh, what is that? A, a green swamp strider. Okay, George. Freeze him up. Wing. And Sorch. I don't have we got him. Okay. Okay. Giant egg. Where's the landmine at? There it is. Oh. <laughs> okay, careful. Huh. If we get all these and they don't explode, and I've been tense for this whole quest, I tell ya. Okay, there's another crocolis. There's a, t a ton of stuff around us here. Okay, this one right here is scaring me, so shield up. Bam. Nice hit there. We get a lot of critical strikes here today. But bam, look at that. Nicely done. Nicely done. Another one over there, so if you could do the honors, George. Oh, yep, there we go. And freeze them up. And search. Torch. Got him. Let's see if we can get this landmine. Okay. Let's go get this crocolisk. Oh, there's one up here by the uh, strider, swamp strider. Okay. Bam. Bam. Bam and shield. There we go. And uh Ow. Bam. What do we do? Eye peck. Ooh. Pecked me in the eye. Stupid sw swamp strider. Look a little butterfly, a little swamp moth. I heard something. Oh, we got golden arrow over there. Curiosity of the fallen desires. One more mine. One more mine. Let's see. One more mine. OK. 
careful about running around out here. Keep an eye. Oh, there's a sparkly. Creatures and landmines. Oh my. Okay. Okay. They all. They were all disarmed. I was tense for nothing. I thought for sure some of them were just going to explode. We still have to keep an eye out for them. I think if you run over the top of them, they're going to get you. So. All right. Now we're close enough. I was going to say we haven't seen Glenn yet, but maybe we'll see him on the next next adventure here, or next quest. And we do have one more quest to do to here today. So we'll turn this one in. Again, it's a shame we don't get any gear, but that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, back into Pog Battle. Here are all the frogs and crickets and stuff in the background. The ambience is nice. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Hey, you get those things I asked you about? Yep, I did. What'd I tell you? Perfectly safe. I'll see you about getting some of these over to your friends, Turwinkle, at a discount. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we can turn that in for a gold. That's not Have bad. a good one. One more. Croc out. Okay, the Stagobog east of town is swarming with crocolis. Swarming, you hear me? I sold every bit of crocolis you could imagine. Crocolis hides, teeth, tails, tongues, eyes, you name it. My point is, they ain't selling anymore. There's too many crocs. We're oversupplied and underdemanded. So since they're of no use to me and they occasionally eat my guests, I need you to just kill the suckers. Do me a favor, eh? I'll be negotiating things with your people. Okay, so I've got to kill eight more of the crocolis, and we can do that. So be good. 75 more silver for that job. Okay, so come on, George, we're going to go back. Oh, we're going to go back out there. Kill more crocolis. And there was, there was a lot of them out here, so it shouldn't be an, a problem. All right. And again, we are getting close to level 57. There's a parrot for a pet. If you guys are looking for pets, there's parrots out here in the Swamp of Sorrows. All right, unless that hunter, well, we did kill our fair share. Unless that hunter got some more of them. There's another Swamp Strider. Now oh, there's one over there. Oh, okay. Again, <laughs> boy, that caught me off guard. Holy smokes. Okay, <laughs> so keep... Keep an eye out for the mines, Turnwinkle. They are still out here. Okay, they don't just disappear after you're done with the quest, folks. <laughs> okay, so let's... Uh... <laughs> Holy smokes, that scared me. Okay. We have frozen. Mayhem. Bam and Zorch. So keep an eye out for the landmines. Let's try to avoid those. There we go. <laughs> oh, Holy smokes. There's one down, so seven more to go. Ah, there's another one here. Bam. Bam and shield. Freeze them up. Bam. And ba bam. There we go. There's number two. Kind of easy peasy. Getting some more stuff that we can keep an eye out for the mines. More stuff that we could put in. Oh, see, there's one right there. That we could put into the. Uh, there's one over there, Croc. Boy, that was funny. <laughs> oh, holy smokes. Okay. Oh, we got a Zorch. Bam. Bam, Zorch. Shield up. And. Uh, bam. There we go. There we go. More mystery meat. George frees him up. Whee! Bam Zorch. And another ba bam. Bam. Alright, halfway. Ah! <laughs> Almost ran into that mine there. Saw it at the last second. Okay. Alright. Let's look over here. Again, watching out for mines. Oh, there's one over there. <laughs> oh, look, a little frog. Little uh, huge toad. Right, George, freeze him up. Whee. Little Bam Zorch. 
refresh on the shield and bam one more should do oh george got him good job george good job all right so just three more of these guys bam 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 got a zorch bam and zorch perfect tooth another one over here again keeping an eye out for mines hard to see in the water there george freeze them up Whing. bam zorch and uh, bam good job you'll see, you'll notice now george fires two two frost bolts at a time now it's doing pretty good one more should do it Keep an eye out for the mines. Crocolisk over here, perhaps? No? Down over here, maybe? Again, I'm looking, and I should be looking for mines as well. Crocolisk. Oh, there's one. <laughs> uh, okay. There he is. Freeze him up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's one right next to us, George, so let's watch out for that one next to us. Bam, and ba bam. Okay, let's hop on Glenn. And we'll get out of here. As you know, we can't have a we can't have a Turwinkle episode without Glenn. Oh, hi Glenn. Alright. Excellent. Wait, for some reason that bridge just zooms you right in. Okay. All right. Thank you, Glenn. All right. Yo. Crock out. All taken care of. Good to hear. Takes a load off my mind. Now I can focus on proper business for the fine folks of Marsh Tide and Stoneheart. Wary for more and all that junk. All right. Okay. So it looks like he's sending us to a next uh, quest hub. Keep it but real. there is someone else over. Well, as you can see, there's a few more, a few more quests here to do in Pog Battle. And so, what we're going to do is we are going to go for the day. George, you did a great, great job. Right, thank you very much, George. You have a great rest, sir. All right, Turnwinkle. Well, excellent job today. We killed some giant lobsters, disarmed some mines, and killed some crocolis. And so a great, great job. And so, folks, if you like this episode, click that like button. If you would like to comment on this episode or on any of our previous episodes, please do so below. Let us know what you liked and what you didn't. And finally, if you'd like to subscribe, well, we would love, love, love to have you. So just hit that subscription button today. Well, again, excellent job, Turwinkle. And Turwinkle, we will see you next time, sir. Farewell. Farewell, Turwinkle. Farewell. <laughs>